Sometimes trauma creates dark portals. And let's ask, um, do you carry any dark portals in you around love issues and love curses? Yes or no? How many ghosts from our own past lifetimes or from others that have issues with our Xbox? Are there any suicidal aspects from past lifetimes affecting you? Yes or no? Is your love life manipulated by Zeta, Reptilian, Draconian and Anunnaki technologies? Yes or no? Hello and welcome to my channel, Tools for Ascension by Wolfgang. And I am Wolfgang. So in the following guided meditation, Cure for a Broken and Stolen Heart, Healing Love Sickness, we will be clearing many layers of love sickness and many layers of your broken and stolen heart. And get your energy back too. To be fair, and you may also have to give back the heart you or the hearts that you have stolen and apologize to the ones whose hearts you broke. You know, karma is a bitch and I mean this in a very respectful way. Um, so there will also be a kind of a new induction for this guided meditation, so please let me know uh, how you like it in the comments. Um, there is more where that came from. But first, let us just consider the definition and main points of love sickness and the broken and stolen heart. Um, probably <coughs> the more and deeper you have loved, the more you have felt the pain of love sickness or the broken heart. You are probably feeling love sick right now. And when you think that there is no pain uh, lodged in your heart, well, that is only because you became used to love sickness. You know, that are you not aware of it anymore. Just like uh, the noise of a fan. You know, when you turn off the fan, you suddenly realize how noisy and annoying it was. In the same way, uh, once the heart pain and other blocks have been cleared, the heart, and of course I mean the heart chakra, uh, will have the capacity to receive and radiate love again. But of course only when you smile and think positive thoughts like, I love you. Frowning and negative thoughts, thought forms like, you suck worth in an airplane toilet, will guarantee you a bummer time pretty much instantly. So why do we hurt so much after a breakup? The short answer is, uh, there are many overlapping reasons like cords, implants, vows, curses, ancestors, glamours, love spills, and a whole lot more. Plus, you know, your mainstream psychology. The long answer is, in this video that you're about to watch, and also your personal details, you know, may be revealed to you when you participate in the following guided meditation. So, uh, this shotgun meditation will probably not clear all the abandonment and love pain issues. There will be many layers. If you are really hurting, you know, do this meditation daily. Otherwise, uh, try the same meditation again in a month and observe what new layers start to emerge. Of course, um, you may also treat yourself to a private Skype session and cut right to the chase, um, especially when you're hurting badly. You know, it's worth the money. I'm still affordable and uh, just go to my website and send me an email. The info is um, in also in show more below. And pretty please, this organic honey on top will work my time and expertise by giving me thumbs up, subscribe, share my videos, which takes only a few seconds and will get the message out there. Thank you so much. So now um, close your eyes mm -hmm. 
And we ask the absolute souls, you know, the origin of everything, nobody or nothing above and beyond. We ask that everything that happens in and from this guided meditation here is going to be for the highest good, in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes, and just agree in your mind. You think, amen, smile, you know, you're in the presence of source, so really smile. Think, amen. And it takes about five seconds for it to kick in before you can feel the results. And we ask that we use our time and energy in the most effective, efficient way, getting right to the root cause of our love sickness. And also please connect us back into our inner beauty instead of looking outside of us for beauty. And also connect us to the aspects of us that are still whole and full of love. And also help us to take our power back as well as our broken or stolen heart and give other people's power back. And we talk and also give their heart back to them. Amen, Amen, Amen. We also ask that we be completely safe. You know, in every aspect, that all aspects of our body, mind, and spirit complex be completely surrounded with the love and light of souls. On all levels of our being, even our parallel self, like our twin flames, mm -hmm. and we ask that only positive vibration thoughts intent can penetrate these layers of love. Please do so now and maintain this dear source. Amen. And now imagine that you're pulling the love of the Earth Mother with your right foot into your heart. And on the exhale, you send your love down through the right foot from your heart deep into the Earth and just go back and forth, breathing deeply. Deep, deep and smile. Mother Earth is conscious, she is smart and aware. She loves you more than a physical mother ever loved you. And there we go. Mm -hmm. If you feel tingling, you know, or like a, a moving twitchy leg, this means the, the energies are opening up. Now focus on your left foot. Induce your breath like a leaf blower. Deep breathing, smile, smile, smile. Deep breathing. Now also breathe through your root chakra. Mm -hmm. This is uh, from the base of your spine. Maintain the flow of love back and forth between Mother Earth and you through your legs, but now add your spinal energy to this. Deep inhaling, pull as much love from Mother Gaia, from the Earth Goddess, into you as you can hold, and then send as much love back. Mm -hmm. And smile, smile, smile. The quality of your smile will affect the quality of your love. The strength and quality of your breath work will affect the quality and strength of your chi that is being exchanged, the quantity, so to say. Mm -hmm. Back and forth. Mm -hmm. Now we ask the um, source to please um, clear anything that um, keeps, you know, a blockage between us and source and Gaia and all the beings of love and light. So this could be black magic, cloaking spells, technologies. <laughs> Yeah. Please uh, clear everything, mm -hmm. make visible and expose what is trickery, misdirection or hidden agenda or legalese fine print mm -hmm. and have all offenders brought to divine justice. Yes, mm -hmm. we also ask for the presence of expert ascendant teams that act for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benign outcomes. Amen. 
and smile and send love. And now, um, you know, you have to learn what a yes is. And of course, um, your high self can talk to you in ideas, visuals, thoughts, and other um, bodily um, sensation in many, many ways. And a very easy one is, you know, seeing a yes as an upflow of chi from the heart into the heavens. So this would feel like this. Um, a yes would feel like this now. Um, One more time. I'm giving you a yes now. Amen. And to now we'll feel like a down normal, an energy flow from the heart to the feet. So a no feel would feel like this now. Amen. One more time. A no would feel like a downer, like this. Amen. All right. Now smile and pull as much love as you can in um, from your crown, from the heavens into your heart. Imagine that Milky Way galaxy is smiling at you and you're pulling her love straight through your crown into your heart. And then send your love up to Milky Way galaxy. And every time as you send your love, you think, I love you. You just think it in your mouth, you smile, but when you send it, you think, I love you. I love you. With so every exhale, as you're sending this love from your heart with your breath, you also think that thought, I love you. I love Now, as you also pull in the love from Milky Way Galaxy into your crown, into your heart, you think, you love me. You love me. You love me, you think. So now, Every time you send your love, you think, I love you. And then in return, when you inhale the love, you think, you love me. I love you. You, you love me. I love you. You love me. You love me. I love you. 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 You love me. I love me. I love you. I love you. You love me. And you are supposed to please remove all kinds of resistance that are there in this flow of love. Um, I love you. You love me. Just keep on repeating this in your mind. And now pull in this love simultaneously from the Earth Goddess as well as from Milky Way Galaxy into your heart. And on the exhale, just let it linger around the heart. Just pull in the love from heaven and earth. 
And every time you inhale, you think you love me. 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 You And now, if he asked that um, our high self or source, you know, speak to us, whatever is most appropriate for this, and to communicate with you through voice, maybe being in front of you, physiognomy, gesture, or ideas popping into your mind, or again, yes or no answers, you know, upflow and downflow of energy, and let us assume that your heart got stolen or broken by another person, which were, which will I call the Xbox. It's spelled a little different. And so um, I chose this term because it's gender neutral and it's funny at the same time. And so uh, keep on smiling and uh, pumping love. Let's ask. So, um, you know, and we asked uh, basically for this in past lifetimes mm -hmm. and in general, unless you know, specifically stated. And so let's uh, we also maybe um, asked, you know, in percentages or lots, little, you know, or nothing. So let's see how much of your pain with your Xbox is karma. Or is most of the pain with your Xbox karma? Yes or no? And next question is most of the pain with your Xbox volunteered for or a lesson? Yes or no? Let's just ask a slightly different way. Is that pain with your Xbox due to a contract? Maybe it's even from guilt. Yes or no? Is this pain with your Xbox due to vows? Yes or no? Is this pain with your Xbox due to curses? Yes or no? And how much? of your pain with your Xbox is sabotage by the dark side. Lots, little, nothing. Did you affect others like that, like you were treated by your Xbox, yes or no? Did others affect you in this or past lifetime, just like your Xbox did, yes or no? Are there any ghost or soul fragments stuck around this issue with your Xbox, yes or no? And we're stuck I mean, stuck on the astral plane, this means they didn't go into the heavens or into the higher dimensions. Mm -hmm. And they're still trying to affect the physical plane. It's just like in a movie ghost. 
The only exception is that New York is crawling with ghosts, not like in the movie. <laughs> Just a few here and there. Now let's ask, how much of this interference with your Xbox is due to celibacy vows? And how much of your interference with your Xbox is due to gender hate? Yeah, many times when there was rape, you know, or rejection involved, you know, we start and hating the whole gender. And how much from your interference comes from ancestral karma, like your clan histories or family curses, etc. And how much of the interference is coming from feuding clans? And of course we asked for forgiveness and release. We asked source to please forgive and release as much as possible, right? And how much of your interference is from past lifetime? love trauma, you know, ghosts that got stuck and, um, you know, that uh, like have similar pain like you and you're not only feeling the pain from this lifetime, you're also feeling their pain. So how much interference is from past lifetime traumatized ghost or soul fragment? Now a big other question, you know, is this situation with your ex book due to your fear of intimacy and ultimately self-sabotage, yes or no? And is your ex book afraid of intimacy and does self-sabotage because of this? Yes or no? All right. Now let's go a little deeper down into the details. Let's deal with curses. And of course, we and our ancestors got cursed around love issues. Mm -hmm. So let's ask this in very general. How do the curses still affect you in a bad way? And you're probably going to have a lot of memories, so please show us now. Um, and now let's ask more specifically, um, how do curses from jealousy and black magic affect your relationship with your Xbox? Please show us now. Um. And some of Xbox relationship behavior, you know, seems to be unexplainable. And so let's ask, what is the most important bleed over from a past lifetimes or from the past lifetimes with your Xbox? Let's ask, have the lessons, you know, around this relationship been learned, yes or no? Have the skills to make this, you know, a high vibration relationship been learned, yes or no? Are there still any vows affecting your relationship with your Xbox? Yes or no? Are there any curses affecting your relationship with your Xbox? Yes or no? Is 
Is there any fear affecting your relationship with your Xbox, yes or no? Were there any promises of fame, glory, riches or others with your Xbox, yes or no? Are there still any important contracts outstanding with your Xbox, yes or no? Now which is the most important contract that has not been yet fulfilled? Please show us now. Um, Are there still any bindings affecting our relationship with our Xbox, yes or no? Is there any karma still affecting your relationship with your Xbox, outstanding karma, yes or no? Let's ask your high self or your guidance, your inner guidance or source, what is your most important next step towards clearing the pain with your Xbox? Please show us now. Um, and smile, smile, smile and stay, keep staying in your heart, you know, run love in your heart. And we ask Absolute Source and your Divine Guidance, cultivating which skill set will benefit you most in getting free from Xbox. Is there anything new that you should try, yes or no? And what would that be, please? Show us now. Amen. Are there any people from past lifetimes, disconnects, so to say, that affect my relationship with my Xbox? You know, like through competition, you know, arch enemy ancestors, you know, people that are hostile, yes or no? And what kind of trauma with your Xbox is still affecting you the most? So this will give you a little overview. Now let's check more on the karma. Of course there is karma around love, you know, from us and our ancestors. So what happened to you with your Xbox? Did you affect others like this too in this or past lifetimes, yes or no? And are there any ghost or soul fragments stuck around these issues, you know, from ex-lovers, not just your Xbox, yes or no? Now let's eliminate this from the Xbox side. Is there any interference from celibacy vows from your Xbox side, yes or no? Was there any interference, you know, from your Xbox side due to gender hate? Yes or no? And how much interference did your Xbox have from ancestor karma, you know, their own ancestors? 
He didn't like uh, his clan histories or her clan histories. Let's ask, uh, do you and your Xbox actually have common clan histories together? That uh, maybe you were rivaling clans or you were of the same clan? Yes or no? Are there any lessons for your Xbox to gain from this experience with you? Yes or no? And what other lessons that are there for Xbox? Please tell us now. How about for you? Is love in yourself instead of seeking it in others a part of your lesson? Yes or no? Now is most of this pain from the broken heart? From this lifetime? Yes or no? Is most of this pain about the broken heart from past lifetimes? Yes or no? And let's go one more time over. Is most of it karmic? Yes or no? Is most of it curses that get handed down from the ancestors? Yes or no? Is most of it from curses from your own incarnations? Yes or no? And of course we ask the angelic beings and source to please clear all the spells. Yeah, ask whether there were any spells involved? Yes or no? Especially in relationship to your Xbox. And in relationship to your Xbox, were any glamours involved? Yes or no? In your relationship with your Xbox, were there any bindings involved? Yes or no? In your relationship with your Xbox, were there any contracts involved? Yes or no? And what were those? Please tell us now, Amun. In your relationship with your Xbox, and mostly I mean past lifetimes and all stuff you do not know, were there any promises involved? Yes or no? And what were those promises? Please show us now. Um, Now was your relationship with your Xbox affected by vows, you know, that were exclusive vows, you know, to only love person forever and ever, or to never love anyone anymore because it hurt so much, you know, when we got abandoned or betrayed. So were there vows like this made, yes or no? And now in particular, how much did these type of vows affect your relationship with your Xbox. And now, please pay close attention, smile, you know, you're still, you know, connecting the source. Mm -hmm. Smile, reside in your heart and just keep nodding your head as long as you agree. And then later on say, um, you know, this is your agreement. Dear source of all, I am a sovereign, divine, eternal being that is residing in the human body at this time. I command in the name of the Absolute Source to clear any of the above covered resistances to pure love, like spells, glamours, bindings, 
contracts, promises and debts. Also please clear any artificial manipulation and predatory magic, technology, energies, entities or intent regarding my love life. Um, smile, breathe, stay connected with the love and nod your head. In the name of the absolute source, I resent means I cancel any and all vows and contracts that I have taken, anyone in this body has taken, and anyone within my genetic lineage has taken, pertaining to love from this incarnation and all incarnations across space and time. Also all parallel realities, parallel universes, alternate realities, alternate universes, all planetary systems, all source systems, all dimensions and the void. Amen. And smile and keep breathing into your heart. Not your head. I command in the name of the Absolute Source to empower recurrent scans and special protection and guardians for me, especially for my sleep time in this incarnation in all incarnations across space and time. All parallel realities, parallel universes, alternate realities, alternate universes, all planetary systems, all source systems, all dimensions and the void now. Amen. And now I'm back to pulling in you know, love into your heart and back to yes and no. How many ghosts from our own past lifetimes or from others that have issues with our Xbox. One more time, let's ask for a number. How many ghosts affecting your relationship with your Xbox from past lifetimes and from this lifetime? And let's just ask how much interference is from past lifetime love trauma ghost. And how many ghosts want revenge? And how many are heartbroken, got abused in love and their trauma gets triggered? when you get into a similar situation. So how many of them are heartbroken? Was there sabotage, you know, with the Xbox by jealous past lifetime spirits? Yes or no? Was there sabotage by pious past life spirits? Was there sabotage by ancestors, yes or no? And now promise yourself that you become loyal to yourself, to your real self, and not to your program persona. You know that got a bad rap as the ego, or selfishness, or narcissism. Amen. Let's go over the ghost one more time. Are there any heartbroken ghosts from others contributing to your heart pain? This is others than your Xbox. In how many? Are there any heartbroken ghosts from your own past incarnation still affecting you? Now this one is a tough one. Are there any suicidal aspects from past lifetimes affecting you, yes or no?
Is there still rejection trauma from past lifetimes affecting you? Are there still not good enough aspects from past lifetimes affecting you? Yes or no? Are there still betrayed aspects from past lifetimes affecting you? Yes or no? Are there still any aspects from past lifetime that got traumatized by broken promises? Yes or no? Are there still aspects from past lifetimes that got abandoned? Yes or no? Are there still aspects from past lifetimes that feel very guilty for what they did? Yes or no? Are there still very angry aspects from past lifetimes? Yes or no? And now let's go to the ghost protocol. This is uh, very important. Um, please pay attention and smile and send love, not your head, agree with it. It's your life. And if it works, if the ghosts leave, you will feel the energy flow through your chakras out the top of the head into the heavens. Mm -hmm. And then there will be a lightness, a feeling of lightness, tingling, happiness, gratitude in many cases. All right. So we are the absolute souls and the pointed ascension teams of divine love to please bring any stuck spirits or ghosts that keep us in abandonment and codependency trauma to the Arturian love feeling and ascension temples. Amen. And there, please reunite them with lost loved ones that are still stuck on the astral planes like lost babies, pets, grannies, and so on. Um, and also please show them the higher as well as the hidden aspects of the incarnation. Show them what was karma, what was volunteered for, to learn for as a lesson. And what was sabotage by the dark side? Amen. And please also clear any misunderstandings, clear the deep abandonment pain, you know, going all the way back to the perceived separation from source. And then help them with forgiveness. Amen. And once they forgive and ask for forgiveness, we ask Absolute Source to please clear any entanglement that still binds them, like vows, contracts, promises, curses, candle magic, black magic, and forms of bindings, bombs, booby traps, claws, hooks, cords, and chains, and everything else that was not mentioned but needs to leave our space at this time. And then we ask that our ancestors that made it into the real heavens and higher dimensions come and escort them home. Amen, Amen, Amen. And keep on smiling and sending love. And now we're going to the deep end. You know, this is regarding ET. ET going home and ET messing with humans. Let's ask, um, is this uh, love trauma that you experience with your Xbox an overlay like a roller coaster program, you know, for luge production, for the production of drama and negative energy, yes or no? Are 
are you and your Xbox part of an alien abduction slash breeding program? Yes or no? Are you part of an alien love bite experiment? Yes or no? Is your love life manipulated by Zeta, Reptilian, Draconian and Anunnaki technologies? Yes or no? Are there any negative astral devices affecting you or your Xbox, like cast and molds, rings and clams, dark rings of magic, rods, needles, glass, cords, Metal plates, plates, spikes, screws. Are there other methods or devices not mentioned here, but that spirit knows are harmful and illegal and against free will? Yes or no? Was there any harvesting of sexual reproductive energies in your relationship with your Xbox by ET? Yes or no? So in those cases, now um, that um, ET um, has acted you know, against the free will of our high self and against universal law, we ask that the um, at Source and Archangel Michael escort them to the Divine Courts of Spiritual Justice and have them handled there so they can you know, affect their humanity um, with their darkness and create more dark karma. Amen, Amen, Amen. Make sure you agree to this. This is your life. This is your security. And let's just deal some more with your energetics. <laughs> No, I mean you are experiencing pain in your heart from your love sickness. Mm -hmm. Now, um, some of this pain that you are feeling may not just be your own. Mm -hmm. So let's ask, so how much of the pain in your heart is from your Xbox? Let's see, and so how much of the pain in your heart is actually mommy, daddy transferred trauma energy and not from your Xbox? So how much of that pain is from mommy, daddy transferred trauma energy? And of course, now we want to forgive ourselves in such a conditioned way. And we promise ourselves now to align with the preference of our own soul and clear the conditioning of society that are toxic to us, to our personality and our soul. Hmm? Please, Source and High Self and our Spirit Guides help us with this reprogramming now. Amen. And also we ask that you know the pain that our Xbox has given us you know around the breakup you know um, to either you know return this energy to the rightful owner or to dissolve it you know source will know what is most auspicious to do mm -hmm. but we're not gonna carry the stuff anymore amen 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 and actually whatever energy is still with you from your Xbox, you know, in your, we like to have it returned completely. In that way, they cannot record to you. They can only record to you when still some of the energy is still with you. So we asked our high self to clear 
and return any of your Xbox's energy to the original owner. Mm -hmm. Return to sender. Um, um, um. Ooh, yeah, that's big. And where our energy is still you know, with our Xbox, then that is generally the cause, you know, that you feel incomplete and that you feel that your heart has been stolen by the other. It's your energy, you know, your best energy is still with the other person. So wherever our energy is still with our Xbox and not being used for the highest good anymore, we like to have it purified and returned to us in the most auspicious way, so that um, you know there is no, be, there's not going to be any recording anymore. No more cords being attached. Please do so now. Amen. And of course, clear also all the cords that came between, that have been established between ourselves and our Xbox. Amen. 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 <coughs> And now we also, while this is going on, we give our high self and our spirit guides permission to clear you know, all the separation trauma from this and from our past lifetime. Now, this should be quite a lot. Um, um, um. Uh, yeah, it's going to just flow off you as if they have any vacuum cleaners above you. And generally, um, you know, intense trauma creates dark portals. And let's ask, um, do you carry any dark portals in you around love issues and love curses? Yes or no? And we ask that all the energies, the dark energies and entities that came into us or into our space through so these um, dark portals be returned to where they came from and we ask that these portals please be closed and if, if it's good for us replaced by love and light portals amen 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 and then of course please reset us to fullness as if this never happened mm -hmm. amen And again, if any cords are still existing between you and Xbox, if you like to have this, you know, return to their rightful owners. Amen, amen, amen. And now, uh, pay, while this is happening, pay attention. Uh, we're going to do a vow and contract clearing and an energy retrieval and protection. Dear source of all, I am a sovereign divine eternal being that is residing in a human body at this time. In the name of the Absolute Source, I will send any and all vows and contacts I have taken, anyone in this body has taken and anyone within my genetic lineage has taken, pertaining to my Xbox from this incarnation and all incarnations across space and time. All parallel realities, parallel universes, alternate realities, alternate universes, all planetary systems, all source systems, all dimensions in the void. Now, Amen. And smile, send love. And one more time, I am a sovereign, divine, eternal being that is residing in a human body at this time, and I command in the name of Absolute Source to liberate, return any stolen, captures part of my soul, my energy, my mind, you know, any discarnate aspects of me, any soul fragments. Please return, liberate them and return them to me now in the most auspicious way. Amen, Amen, Amen. 
and also please clear any black magic devices, spells, curses, implants and negative technologies and parasites from us now. Um, and some more baggage clearing now. Dear Ascension Teams, please transmute any physical, astral, emotional, mental and spiritual trauma that is still with us from our exports. Transmute them to healing energy and upgrade us to our most auspicious divine blueprint right now. Um, and one, two, three, you're fully grounded now back in vacant day consciousness. Well, uh, welcome back. Make sure you drink a lot of water. So, <laughs> To explore, you know, all these issues with your Xbox by yourself without much experience can be quite challenging. You know? So if you really suffer, I mean, be loyal to yourself and treat yourself to a private session. It will be worth it. I mean, I suffered and I mean, I'm glad I did not have those facilities. Mm -hmm. And as always, you know, install your permagrin and keep tuning into your higher mind. I love you. Namaste.